hi welcome to part 2 of the dom crash course for beginners so in this part uh, we will start with some removal so that so what let us select the unordered list first document dot query selector dot items so i'm selecting this dot items and then as i told i want to remove it so there is a method known as remove i will do it and it will get removed so let's move forward now we are going to see how we can use the text content in a text and in a in a html so that we can change even the content so let me remove let me remove this and i will get them back so by that see this content is the item 1 item 2 item 3 we can change them itself so let's go ahead and uh, first ul dot first child line okay it is showing in my vs code so what is this first child element ul dot ul dot first child element will give me access to the first child of unordered list which is this one li so a child first element child then text content so text content will just say whatever the text is there let me save it see it got changed into html so another method ul dot children i can direct write children this children and i will give one so because everything is array based so starts from zero so what it will do i want to target this second item item 2 so i am giving one so dot inner text text equal to CSS. Let me save it. Yeah, the second one is changed to CSS. Now, on the list dot last element child dot inner HTML equal to. So, I will tell you what is this. See, this text contains inner text. They can only change the text. But inner HTML means you can pass the HTML and it will. Uh, take the HTML into consideration. Suppose I, there is HTML tag known as B, which is for so we have to give the complete HTML code here B. So it will change anything inside it to bold. So let me do JavaScript B. Let me save it and see it is bold. So this is the thing. So now let me do one more thing. const btn equal to document dot query selector i am selecting the btn btn so i am uh, selecting this button the only button here so i can change the css also how i can change the css btn dot Style dot oh style some issue is there I am not able to type style and it change it to this back ground color see one thing one important thing is that we are giving camel case by default CSS properties have a dash in it so this is camel case color see we are making it capital so I can make it blue and it will change to blue the button change to blue similarly on uh, okay we can change change other things anything so uh, it's okay we understood i think so after that we will learn about event listeners so we can e listen to any event in the dom like a click event on some button or anything for that okay so let me comment this out let me comment 
this out also i want this button okay so btn dot add event listener i will do and then it goes like this click click event and it will give me a e let me open the console quickly and let me give console dot log of e okay so what should happen whenever i click here it should come here so let me do it and let me click here but nothing happened but you saw one thing this is getting refreshed see see closely so this happened because this is inside a form and this is a submit type also which is actually a form submit type so this is the issue okay. let me increase the font size a bit i forgot to increase it so uh, uh, this is the issue by default when you submit a form button what it does it it thinks it have to submit to a server so it it refreshes the page so nothing will happen so uh, what we need to do in such cases we have to do e dot event default because when you learn how to submit to a server you know you don't use the php way to submit to a server anime so e dot event default will stop the default behavior of a form submit button which is to submit to server and to refresh it let me save it now if i submit it see i got this mouse event and and uh, where is it so See, I want to do this. E is this. This target is input button. So, what I want to do, I want to see this actually. So, E dot target. If I save it, and now if I submit, I will select that. And now, see, this whole button is getting there. So, uh, let let us do one thing let us do when i submit i will i will do this let me uncomment it let me save it let me do it so what i am doing right now when i am clicking okay nothing happened ul dot first ul ul where is ul oh nothing will happen because i have to i am not selecting it so let me save it and now let me remove the unnecessary thing so that I don't get confused. So this is the code right now. Okay, so now let me do it. Yeah, and it got changed. So you can do anything like this. So and uh, instead of this click event, there are some other events also you can search the net over. It. So mouse like mouse over is there. I'm coming here and I'm taking my, my mouse over it and it gets changed so this is also there so you can change check it out so now we will do some serious programming sort of thing and for that what we need to do we will first we don't want this so we will comment this out save it so it is it's get removed and then let me come here and let me delete everything 
so what we're doing we're doing we will do form validation and form summation so for that we have to write some code const form const my form equal to document dot very selector hash my form so from where it comes this this my form we are selecting first then const name input equal to document dot query selector hash name so this one is this id this name input this we are we are targeting then after that like name input let me have e mail input also so we will get this and it have got an id of email then const msg equal to see we uh i will show you let me first write the code document dot query selector dot msg so what is this dot msg i will show you this dot msg is an empty div we are going to use it for error validation you will soon see why so this this is a way to give something uh, empty div and we manipulate it by javascript so this is a common feature even this one we are going to manipulate through javascript this your empty id of ux so let's go ahead and const user list equal to document dot query selector hash users and this hash hash users is this id we are selecting which i was telling about right now so we are going to this so now we listen for the for the form submit so because this see this is a form submit type is submit means it is a form submit so we can target that also so my form so my form we are targeting the form dot add event listener so there is one more benefit of making any button as a, a submit button we can use the enter also not only the mouse click so and but we have to use code like this su b m i t submit so this is a function which i am going to create so let us create it function on s u b m i m i t e e dot prevent default let me do one thing console dot log let me show what is name input and what is name input dot value and let me save it but to see what it is we have to again open our console so let me open it and then after that let me add add something and i have i have pressed enter so I, what i was telling it will work whether you press enter or you click the submit button it will work so so name input it is taking this whole and name input dot value whatever we entered here so it is that so what we are going to do we are going to do the validations now so before validations let me show one thing our styles.css which is linked have a class of error so we are going to use this class it is there for a reason so let me go back and we are going to do the validation very good way of doing validation we will do there 
is a validation you can do in the way I have done in my other project also in which we click on the submit it will show a alert alert window but nowadays it is not very good to show that alert type of thing it is very old type of way so we will see the new way so if name input dot value people equal to this empty string and email input dot value people equal to empty string then msg the msg which i was telling msg dot class list dot add so this way we can add a class error so this is happening if everything is if any of them not everything any of them or or we are using is empty after we create a summit so we will do this and then msg dot inner html you can use inner html on anything so please enter all fields let me save it so let me give only one and then i am pressing on enter so it is coming here but there is a problem in this issue see this is not going so this is not a good user experience that it will stay there so we have to remove it after maybe after five seconds three seconds whatever i think three seconds is much better so for that we will set timeout arrow function msg dot remove so the msg we are removing after 300 millisecond which is three seconds so let me save it again let me do it is there is there it is gone after three seconds so now what we are going to do we are going to add the logic so you are whenever we enter something name email and then we click on submit so it should add it somewhere so generally you should add it to a backend but we are not learning backend right now so what to do in such case so we'll just show it here so you can add a logic to add it in the local storage but it's okay for now i'm not adding that logic so what we need to do see this if part is there where is this if part if part ending is here so i did one small mistake it should be inside but it doesn't matter it will even if i do it here and let me go here message will come so this part is actually meant for the else else means if the user enters both of them then this will do const li equal to document dot create element so this way we can create element on the fly with the create element this is a very powerful thing in javascript we are just creating element on the fly then li dot append child so we are creating li on the fly and then we are appending another element to it and then here document dot create we are going to use this create text node and like this so we are using this template string then name input dot value as we have seen by value it will come and email input dot value so i have did this now what we need to do we need to do this user list see what is user list this ul so inside this 
UL, we are creating the allies and we are creating the allies programmatically. So user list dot append child again and then we are going to use ally. So I did the ally and then I will also clear the field so this is very important if you don't uh, okay let me show without uh, clearing a field first so let me do this let me do this and let me see it got added but it remains added so it is not going anywhere so this is not a good user experience so what we need to do we need to do after this name input dot value equal to i am making it an empty string email input dot value equal to again empty string let me save it so this way you can add this so this completes our dom crash course hope you liked it see you in the next crash course which will be on async await thank you